I was looking at some labour market expectations and forecasts from Ellen Zetner of Morgan Stanley. Mohammed, her and the team are looking for 4% unemployment for Q23. They're looking for 4.4 in 4Q24. Their expectation for unemployment is 12 months further out than where the Federal Reserve is at year end. Year end, the Federal Reserve's at four and a half. Morgan Stanley and Anna Zetner get close to four and a half 12 months later. Mohammed, it's not just the decision that we're teeing up for next week, it's the projections as well. What do you think those projections are going to look like over at the Fed? So I think they're going to correct yet again. Um, you know, they've, they've been too pessimistic on the unemployment rate. And I think that they're going to correct that because I don't see us getting to where they think we're going to get by the end of the year. I think the unemployment rate will be lower. I think they're going to correct the inflation forecasts and they're going to take them up yet again. John, if you talk about the labor market, keep an eye up uh, for wages. Wage growth, depending on what you look at, is getting s steady at around 5%. And that is too high for a 2% inflation target. Would you expect that median dot then to come up in the dot plot on Wednesday? Yeah, I do. Um, I think th they'll go there. But it's going to be the press conference is going to be absolutely the most interesting element of next Wednesday. What is it about the press, sir, that you think is interesting? So first, let's see where we start from. They have guided the market. Um, as you know, the top Fed official, a top Fed official guided us to expect a skip. And that will make sense if Tuesday's inflation data comes in well below forecasts. Why? Because this is a highly data-dependent Fed. Having said that, they haven't dealt with the larger framing issue. And you're not going to get me to front-run my FT article again. I'm going to have to wait till Monday. But there's a larger framing issue that is not being looked at. So how they describe that the skip, which the market expects, is going to be critical. Now, if they don't get favorable inflation numbers, they're in a really hard situation because they will have to surprise the market. So it's going to be next week is going to be absolutely fascinating. Tuesday, Wednesday is going to be probably the most interesting 24 hours, um, a little bit more, 36 hours that we've seen for a long time.